we're approaching the Princess Stone in Glenfinnan and so we're in the core of what's called the Glenfinnan Nap which is large-scale folds associated with the Caledonian mountain building event and when you have these very large folds everything gets turned on its side so that the folds end up sitting on their sides and because we're in this large mountain building crustal thickening region the temperatures were quite high we were buried here to maybe 30 or more kilometers depth the temperatures were over 500 degrees C perhaps 600 or more and there's some evidence of tiny amounts of what's called incipient melting here so we're close to the melting temperature so everything is deforming in a ductile manner and you can see a very nice set of folds above me the axes of the folds the axial plane is almost horizontal at the top up there you can see just the start of a fold that comes over like this then another fold that comes round, and then the limb comes down behind me and they're quite asymmetric the limb down immediately behind me is at a very low angle and everything seems to be stretched out the thickness of the layers is relatively narrow the limb that comes back the other way in the middle of the cliff is at a relatively high angle of dip and the layering is much much wider okay and then as it goes over up to the very top of the cliff it looks as though it's starting to go into something where it thins out again and this is consistent with the sense of motion of the Caledonian orogeny okay during the Caledonian the overriding plate was in the east and it was moving to the west west is that way so the sense of motion was top to the west and if you do that where you have limbs which are dipping like this they get stretched out so they get thinned and stretched where you have limbs which are dipping like that they get rotated and thickened so we can see a stretch limb a thickened limb and then another stretch limb right at the top this is entirely consistent with the sense of motion of the Caledonian er erogeny 450 million years ago go to oneminuteology.net for more videos near you and for information about guided geological days